Bonjour everybody, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel Alex in his bags. Today's video is all about Chanel because obviously even if I talk to you about YSL, Chanel is still a brand I love even if their prices are becoming insane. So today's video is about why you should probably buy a wallet on chain instead of a Chanel mini. And obviously at the end of the day, it's your personal choice, your money on top of that. So pick the bag you would like to own and you would enjoy carrying. This is just reasons on why I do prefer the wallet on chain over the mini, but as you can see on my collection i do have both because i was able to get both so without further ado let's get into it so today i have a few bags to show you as well let's begin with the eye candy so first of all is this chanel mini in red caviar leather silver hardware i think it's from 18c collection i don't recall i'm pretty sure it's this one so as you can see it's this kind of true red i just love it it's perfect it's my dream red chanel bag so i'm so happy with it next up is my chanel black mini mini so this one is from 17b it's also in caviar leather as you can see it's a bit shiny in a way with silver hardware my favorite hardware and this one doesn't have the edge stitching like the other one did previously but in the inside it's actually this gorgeous burgundy leather which is so precious i feel like i don't understand why they don't do it with every chanel mini since it's a classic flap this one is also special because the chain is a bit shorter than the regular mini but I will compare the chain of the red mini with the chain of the wax when I will go to this pump. Next we have this wallet on chain which is the first one I purchased from all of these. This is in black caviar leather as well with silver hardware so obviously it's very reminiscent of the black mini. Next up is this I think 21s but I still have no confirmation this royal blue iridescent wallet on chain i will try to see if you can see the iridescent but to be honest i don't have much lighting today and last but not least my precious gem which is this silver wallet on chain in this sparkly caviar leather and you can see it properly here i think that this is looking like glitters all over it okay so now that i have presented you all the bags of today's video first point is that the wallet on chain is cheaper than a chanel mini and it makes sense because it's a bit smaller but basically the price is very very different when i first purchased my wallet on chain it was 2000 euros nowadays it's 2550 euros for a classic version like this so it's still under the 3000 euro mark but it's still quite expensive for a pouch if you think of it for the classic mini it's a bit different obviously this one is in caviar leather and chanel does not do it anymore you have to go to the pre of road to actually get these ones the lambskin mini which is the only ones you will be able to find in store are at 3800 euros nowadays so it's quite high as well and you can see that it is a lot of difference between the chanel classic mini and the chanel wallet on chain so it's something to take into account because it's basically the price of a ysl bag that you have in between both of these. Reason number two you should get a Chanel wallet on chain instead of a Chanel mini is actually the choice of leather combination and hardware. As I said in store, these ones, they do not longer exist. You can always find them in lambskin, which is seasonal, but you can find it all year round. But caviar leather ones, they don't do it anymore since 2018 or 2019, I believe. So you can't actually find them in store. And on the resale market, it's very hard to find them at the good price as well. Whereas the Chanel wallet on chain, either being a seasonal or a classic one. Classics are only the black ones in caviar, lambskin and gold and silver hardware. Seasonal being all the other colors and all the other hardware. If you have some rainbow hardware, you have a lot of choices and especially in terms of leather. This one is in caviar leather. It's iridescent, but it's still caviar, so grain calfskin. But if you want a wallet on chain in lambskin, you can. Whereas for Chanel Mini, you don't have the choice. It has to be lambskin. So I do prefer prefer the choice obviously my choice goes towards caviar this is my favorite leather but i know people actually prefer lambskin and you can choose between lambskin and caviar for the wallet on chain whereas with the classic mini you don't have the choice let's talk about the chain so i will compare both of these so as you can see the chanel mini runs higher than the wallet on chain and i know that it's an issue for some people that the chain of the wallet on chain is just too long for some petite people however to me it's very easy on the wallet on chain to either buy a chain shortener which is something you can buy from amazon or actually get at chanel stores now if they have it in stock when you buy a wallet on chain so basically it's a little tool that will 
will allow you to just drop the chain by a bit and then you will be able to shorten it if you want. You can also double cross the chain on the bag and it gives you this chain which is very shorter but still quite manageable. I do wear this crossbody sometimes if I wanted to sit a bit higher. So I do love the versatility of the chain of the wallet on chain. You could potentially do this on the Chanel Classic flap, but for some reason I just feel like it doesn't sit as well. So as you can see, it's the same kind of chain. You could actually buy a chain shortener if you want to put like this and to have the chain just shorter. But I'm pretty sure it would ruin the inside flap of the bag and I would be quite cautious about this because this these bags are costing a fortune and if you actually double cross the chain it's not possible to wear it cross body anymore as you can see you can wear it on the shoulder and if it's how you want to wear it obviously you can but you cannot wear cross body anymore and on top of that you have these parts that are showing whereas on the wallet on chain it doesn't show because the essence of the chain is actually inside so when you cross the chain it doesn't change anything on the design whereas on this one if you cross the chain you still see the chain going out and then being crossed and going out again so to me this doesn't look really good whereas this it looks like nothing has been changed except you can wear the chain shorter so once again for me the wallet on chain is winning so if you absolutely want the classic mini in black caviar leather with silver hardware and you want a chain which is actually shorter than the classic mini because people will probably go for the square mini instead of the rectangular mini for the chain length just know that the 17b mini in black has a shorter chain length than the classic minis as you can see the difference is quite impressive i didn't know it when i purchased it so i was a bit surprised but it's actually real reason number four is that they basically fit the same kind of amount both of them the chanel mini is quite roomy for a mini bag to be honest you can still fit quite a bunch but you don't have any card slots so you do have to carry a wallet or a card holder for the wallet on chain you actually have six card slots which is more than enough in my opinion and then you have the room for it as you can see i do have my work saver inside so it does help with the length of the bag and you can fit tissue paper car keys everything you need that you would be able to fit in the chanel mini the chanel mini wins in terms of capacity only if you have kind of bulkier items let's say you have some hand cream which is a bit bigger like the chanel hand cream for example it would fit in the chanel mini but would not fit in the wallet on chain but in terms of items in general they probably fit about the same because you will lose the wallet on the card holder and last reason would be that the wallet on chain wears so well so so this i'm not talking about going pre-locked because if you go pre-locked the condition of the bag will vary and obviously it will be very different from one seller to another but if you go to the boutique road and you buy one lambskin mini and one wallet on chain whereas it's lambskin or caviar but more especially caviar the wear on the chanel mini will be less good than the wear on the wallet on chain because the chanel mini is a bit more bulky in a way and it will tend to bump into things i used to have the classic mini in black in lambskin and it used to have so many scratches for no reason at all whereas it was because of my coats whereas it was because i bumped into things or whatever it was just nonsense at some point and that's why i decided to sell it because i was probably seeing new scratches every day for no reason even when i was not wearing the bag like it was crazy whereas with the wallet on chain this one especially that i had for three years now it looks brand new there is no scratches at all on this bag no corner wear no no issues really and i've worn this bag so much the key is that this bag is actually flat on your body so will not bump into things i don't know just this makes a total difference and for that reason i would still advise you to get the chanel wallet on chain because it wears really better than the chanel mini especially if you get the chanel mini in lambskin so far i had my chanel mini in caviar and to be honest it didn't move at all so probably uh, i will have a different opinion about this one in a couple of years maybe that they probably were the same i don't know but in terms of boutique access and getting the chanel lambskin mini against a wallet on chain in caviar it will be um, a mess for the chanel mini whereas a caviar wallet on chain it will be perfect for ages so in the end you understood that i think the chanel wallet on chain is 
is a more clever purchase because it's cheaper, you have more choices, it's more versatile, you have the same capacity, it wears better than the Chanel Mini in my opinion from what you can access to the store. If you have the opportunity to have a Chanel Mini in caviar for a good price, good price being in my opinion around the Chanel Mini Lambskin retail price in store. I purchased both of these at around 4000 euros. I think this one I paid a bit more, maybe 4200 or something like that. But basically I did pay that because I knew that at that time the Chanel Lambski Mini was 3,500 euros and it would increase like in no time and I'm glad I did because now I have this bag for maybe six months and the Chanel Mini is already increased by 300 euros and it will probably increase once again. So I know that by buying this bag close to the retail price in store since this price will increase it will be a best deal if i ever want to sell it obviously it's not in my plans and this is the only price i would accept for a chanel mini in caviar if it's like 1000 euros above the retail price or something like that just don't go for it it's a bit too much and but at the end of the day these bags have been overpriced for a long time and as you can see it didn't prevent me to get one because even with the wallet on chain i still wanted the classic mini because i'm not interested in the other sizes of the classic flat if you owned other size of the classic flap and want a mini version i would probably get for the wallet on chain only if you are like me interested in mainly mini bags i would probably end up with both to be honest like i did but if you are more clever than me you will probably get two different combos but to be honest these are the combos that works the best for me these are probably one of my most used bags because it's just so easy to wear and i wanted to reduce this cost per wear so much so that's why i took these ones so yeah that's it for this video if you are interested i actually have a video comparing both sizes so the wallet on chain the classic mini but also the small boy and the mini 2.55 on my channel so i will link it in the description down below if you are interested you will see everything compared from the chain to the capacity to the modules everything you need to know about it so i will include this video in the description down below i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question about these bags please feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex and his bags. And I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye bye.